Hey guys, Pat Gagliano here from Custom Finish Basements. So I'm a much better uh, basement finisher than I am a pool player, but I'm gonna walk you through this basement. We got a lot of really unique stuff going on here. We have a bunch of exterior windows and doors that brings in a really, really nice amount of light into the basement. And that's the area that we're standing in right now. It's really cool because as you come through that entrance, you have a TV and a fireplace, so it almost creates like a foyer type of environment. And, uh, and this is the center point of the open concept. So behind me, we have a theater, which is an open concept, really sharp. We set that up with a large screen and we have some stars in the ceiling with some LED, so it's kind of interesting. Upstairs, we open the staircase. So uh, it's, it's not only open down below, but it's also open up top, which is unique as well. Other features that we have here is uh, we have a bathroom that was situated in a scenario where we had four columns and uh, we needed to hide. So this basement has a lot of columns that were exposed. I think there was like nine and we ended up with really only two and those two are centered perfectly at this entrance and decorated with trim with some benches. So it gives you a really, really nice look to the setup of the you know main entrance from the backyard. So we also have a gym with some glass French doors and we put another set of doors at the opposite side and we have a uh, little hockey area for the kids to play. Kitchenette situated here in theater area. But the most important thing to talk about in this basement is we used our design services. So we, we help everybody with the process of designing the basement as far as the layout and whatnot. But in addition to that, the customers used our design services of picking out the flooring and you know the paint, the fabric, literally everything down to the furniture. So that's something that you, you could really tell when you go through this basement that not only did the customer have great taste, but in our design services, Maria went through and spent a lot of time with the customers picking out you know stone at the fireplace and, and literally everything. So, so that, that's kind of unique and pay attention because this basement is just fantastic. We're gonna walk you through it now. Okay, so behind me is the main entrance from the backyard. It's really cool because not only is there a glass door letting in that natural light, but there's also two windows as well. So this area is very symmetrical. And then we had two columns uh, as well. So we decorated them, made it look like a formal entrance. And we had the option to maybe put some closets on either side, but we ended up going with benches that lift and have storage. And it was definitely the right choice because it just opens the area up and you'll see with the cushions and the pillows, it looks really, really sharp. Another place to hang out as well. So really sharp entrance here. All right, so we're over here at the open concept home theater area. And you can see it's really cool. Uh, behind me, we have two columns that we decorated uh, with some trim and we kind of utilize the one to create this half wall with some seating here. So that's one row of seating. Then in front of that, we have a platform for another section of seating. And then on the ground, we have some uh, additional seating. So, so there's a lot of seating in this area, yet it's very open because in the distance over here, you could still see the theater from, you know, when you're at the pool table or anywhere else in the basement. Another unique thing in this section is that little kitchenette behind me as well. So we had like a hallway and we were trying to figure out a good spot to uh, situate the kitchenette. So this worked out really well, especially, you know, having a popcorn maker there or, you know, any essentials, drinks, under counter fridge. You know, theater came out great. We even incorporated some uh, LED lighting in the, in the ceiling, which is really sharp. Sconces, decorative trim, very sharp look here. Looks great. Okay, so we're here in the gym. We have uh, glass French doors kind of inviting you into a room so you don't feel like you're working out in a closet. And uh, what's unique here as well is we got another set of doors on the other end. And the reason for that was we had the staircase there and we wanted to open the staircase up and make it you know, really inviting. So it really worked out well. So the gym, it, it's a big gym, but it even feels bigger than it actually is. Uh, also, we have that hockey wall net that comes down so they can you know, hit their puck into there. And really, really good sized gym. And we utilized every inch. We even cut out the space under the staircase and installed like uh, cardio equipment there. And we had a niche on the other side where we actually recessed in a little trophy shelf. So we try and use every inch that we can on every job. 
All right, so right here, we're actually in the center of the basement. So when you come in the entrance from the back yard, this is the first thing that you'll see. So we wanted to have a little feature wall here. So that's why we got the stone and the fireplace. It's really cool when you walk in and you see this. I think it's just a great visual. So, so we find right now there's a lot of fireplaces being put into the designs. This is a thing that everybody wants to do. And what's great is now they're ventless. We could do them either with gas or electric. And uh, one of the cool features of these fireplaces, now they're, a lot of them are lineal. So it's not so much like a square or a rectangle anymore. And the sky's the limit. So it's a really unique feature that I like a lot. Again, a lot of unique design elements here and picking out the right products and to make sure everything matched was really critical. All right, so in this basement, we have a full bathroom, you know, so we call it a three-piece bath. So we have a toilet, sink, and shower. So like I talked about earlier, we had four columns and we were kind of, the size of this room was dictated by that area. So it's probably a little bit bigger than it needed to be. So what we did was when we designed and laid this bathroom out, we also incorporated a linen closet. And it, it actually worked out perfectly after it was all done. So you can see the, again, with the design services, uh, we worked on picking out the tile and you know, Maria went with the homeowner and, and did the vanity, the light fixtures, you know, pretty much everything. So um, it, re it really shows because the basement just looks fantastic. So here we are in the bedroom and really unique because we have these glass French doors. And what we did here was we had some obstacles in the ceiling. So we created a double tray ceiling with some crown moldings, really looks sharp. The room is open and inviting and uh, it can be multi-purpose actually. And to make it a legal bedroom, we had to have a window meeting all the requirements from the township. So really sharp bedroom here. Thanks for joining me on this tour of this awesome custom finished basement. Please don't forget to check us out on all of our social media, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, everything. We got some really, really good and unique stuff. Looking forward to seeing you guys on the next one. Thanks.